Hey, what's good, guys? This is Brian with Simple Man's Comics in collaboration with Comic Book Speculation and Investing. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys about my weekly picks for comics coming out this Wednesday, March 8th, 2017. It's another slow week. Not very many comics coming out that are worth mentioning, but there are some that grab my attention. So without further ado, let's get this started. First up this week, we have Action Comics number 975. Now there's a regular Patrick Gleason cover. There's also a one-for-one -one variant by Gary Frank. This ties into Superman number 18 and 19. It's part two to the Superman Reborn storyline. Also be aware that the regular covers for Action Comics number 975 and 976 will connect with the variant covers from Superman 18 and 19 to form one single vertical image. Next up, we have Green Valley number six. In this issue, Bertwell learns the truth about the evil wizard Cyril, while his fellow knights dare to slay the real-life dragon. It's hard to describe this comic. I've enjoyed reading it so far. Um, at first, it seemed like it started out like a Game of Thrones type storyline, but it's different than that. It, it combines fantasy with future tech. Um, it's a good read. I recommend you guys giving it a try. Pick up the trade. Either way, I continue to pick this up because I actually like the story. All new Wolverine number 18. Now everyone's familiar with a movie called Logan that's out in theaters right now. And we all know that Wolverine is... So hot right now. This issue is going to ship with three different covers. You have a regular David Lopez cover. There's a Bengal connecting variant. But the one to keep your eye on is the Francesco Martina Venomized variant. These are supposedly one for one regular price, but you had to qualify to order these. So you might not be able to find them. Either way, if you can get your hand on one of these... This is the one to get, and this is also my pick of the week. Gwenpool number 13. Now, the only copy I have shown here is the Incentive Game Variant cover. This seems to be sold out already a lot of places online. So if you were to pick this up, this would be the one I'd recommend. This is X-Men number 6. In this issue, Emma Frost is going to take on the Queen of Inhumans herself, Medusa. This comic's also going to ship with five different covers. There's a regular Lionel Francis U cover. There's a Michael Cho variant. There's an Artie and Syaf and Humans cover. There's a Terry Dotson variant. But most of all, there's a beautiful incentive variant for this by Simone Bianchi. Next, we have Man-Thing Volume 5, Number 1. That's right, Man-Thing is back getting his own comic. But what I really like about this is it's written by none other than R.L. Stein. I grew up reading R.L. Stein books, Goosebumps, a bunch of others. Anyway, this comic's going to ship with six different covers. You have a Tyler Crook cover. You have a Ron Lim Man-Thing and Marvel Universe cover, John Tyler Christopher action figure cover, a Venomized cover, a Francesco Francavilla variant cover, and a Mart Billy Martin variant cover. Here we have Old Man Logan number 19. You got a regular cover by Andrea Sorrentino, but what I really like this week is there's a variant Venomized cover by Gustavo Duarte. As I said, the Venomized cover is great, but like I also said, we all know that Old Man Logan is... So hot right now. So pick up whichever cover you like, but I myself like the Venomized cover this week. Silver Surfer number nine. Now I'll tell you flat out, I'm not a big fan of the Silver Surfer comic. I'm even less of a fan of the writer Dan Slott, but I am a huge fan of this beautiful, gorgeous incentive variant cover by Simone Bianchi. So I'm, that's why I'm showing it. That's why I'm bringing it up. It is an incentive. It looks to be a one in 25, and it's sold out at a lot of places online already. Dog number three. I continue to pick this up. I actually really enjoy the story. It's written by Rob Cohen, who's a screenwriter. He also directed films such as Triple X, Fast and Furious. Also, it's by 451 Media Group, who's owned by none other than blockbuster movie producer and director Michael Bay. So good story, good writing. It has a great chance of being picked up or optioned. Who knows? But when it's owned by a movie producer and written by a screenwriter and director, I'll take my chances. Not to mention, I do like the story. Also be aware that there's a cover B for this. It's a variant by Tom Velez. Street Tiger number one. This is a brand new comic from indie publisher Amigo Comics. It's about Nam City, which is a dangerous place. And members of different criminal organizations are being found dead. Police fear it's a gang war, but rumors are that it's one man raging a solo war against crime. It's a man with a bike helmet, a leather jacket, and a symbol of a tiger. It's one hectic ride that's going to take you to the 80s exploitation movies. To me, it sounds like John Wick, set in 1980s exploitation movie style. But I'm on board, at least for the first issue, first arc. Let's see what happens. So this is going to be my picks for comics coming out Wednesday, March 8th, 2017. As I always say, please comment. Let me know what you guys think of these videos. Let me know if there's titles that I'm leaving out that you think should be added. Also, if you do like the video, click that thumbs up button so I know you like them. 
Share these videos with your friends because sharing is caring. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is Brian from Simple Men's Comics in collaboration with Comic Book Speculation and Investing. And I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>